co-worker shared a spiritual warfare with me. And I had been pray praying for a financial blessing. And um, I was telling my sisters, I was like, um, I got to have a blessing by last Friday. And I need a financial blessing ASAP. Well, the week went by, my checking account continued to uh, go down. And I said, okay, God. I know that you are my shepherd, um, that you will supply all of my needs. Well, um, I kept getting emails from my bank, and it was like, redeem your points. And I'm reading the email, and I'm like, I don't need a TV. I don't need an iPad. Um, I don't need a house phone. So I called because they sent me another email Wednesday. And when I called them, he was like, um, you don't have to get the prizes. You can get cash. And I'm like... Uh, excuse me, can you repeat that again? Can you explain to me what it is? I don't have to pay you back, right? He was like, no, no. For being a loyal customer, um, this is our appreciation to you. So um, God did bless me last week with $200. And I was like, okay, God, thank you for your blessings. So um, I'm still just continue to pray in the word of God over area over over area area of my life and I mean praying the word of God his word cannot return null and void he is faithful he is faithful and no matter what you're going through no matter what the situation is because I feel like I've been attacked on every side this week but when Pastor Darrell said we singing chasing after you God no matter what the situation looks like no matter what my bank account is on I'm still chasing after you because you're faithful you're faithful the enemy has no authority over us. I've been declaring the word of God all day, even for my sister behalf. She texted me. She was like, they told me I can't read my Bible at work. Girl, the devil is a liar. I said, that's okay because the word of God is hidden in your heart. So every morning, I pray that every morning when you walk through those doors, that you just begin to confess the word out of your mouth. Y'all, God is so good. The devil want to turn up. Guess what? I'm turning up even higher. My praise and my worship won't stop because I don't see my promises. I will continue to pray the word of God. So I just encourage you all, whatever the situation is, it might not be financial. It might not be dealing with your job, whatever the, whatever the situation may be. I just encourage you to continue to pray the word of God. To continue to pray the word of God. And he will deliver. He will deliver. I told God I need it by Friday. And he delivered by Friday. He delivered by Friday. He delivered by Friday. So y'all just be encouraged and continue to eat this word up. Continue to eat this word up. I thank God for passing this word because it's okay. Um, I used to always just pray from your heart. Just pray from your heart. No. You call God back on his word. No, nah, he don't need reminding of it. He know his word. But just call him back on his word. Because he honor his word. Hey. That's his word. You, I, Pastor, I'm going to give you your go mic. Ahead. Ahead. But it's just like when you go to the store and you believe your mom or dad when you was little. Or your child believe you. Mama, can I get this toy? Can I get this toy, All mama? Right. Well, next time we go to the store, baby, you can get the toy. Well, the next time you go to the store, what your child do? Mama, can I get the toy? So, okay, you got to honor your word. You told her next time, you told him or her next time, you come, you can get the toy. But that's how God is. In due time, he will bless us. In due time, we will see his promises. So continue, 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 continue to pray the word of God. The word, not from your heart. Not, oh God, I just need you. I just need a blessing, God. I need some money. No, you are my shepherd. You said that you would supply all of my needs. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are my provider. And you said that you would provide every need. So y'all be encouraged. Continue to pray over your kids. Continue to pray over your kids. Speak the word over your kids. Bring your kids in and let them hear you pray. They might can't pray with you, but bring them in and let them hear it. Because guess what? They'll start doing it too. I had a student ask me um, just this week. She said, Miss Brown, why do you always touch our heads when we come in the classroom? I said, babe, I'm just touching your head. I didn't want to get in trouble. But I'm pleading the blood of Jesus over my students when they come in the classroom. You will be focused. You will focus. You will not, you will not be a statistic. You won't. Hey. You will succeed. 
You will. Come on. And I'm seeing it in my classroom. I'm seeing it in the classroom with me and my teacher. The kids are starting to behave a little better. Yeah, they have bad days, but thanks be to God, it's not, it's not too bad. <laughs> They're starting to learn. I have a kid that aggravates the crap out of me, but I told him, I said, guess what? Before you leave out of this classroom, you will be reading. You will be reading. I don't care how much you aggravate me, but Miss Brown going to help you read. You will not go to the fourth grade not knowing anything. You will read. So we have to do our part too as servants. So just y'all continue to pray. I'm going to sit down.